What's up, y'all? Okay, I did. I just did a long A interview on LSG Sky Chef's food prepare job, and I just said a whole bunch of personal things that went on. So I had to do the video over because I I, I want to. That was a 15 minute video, and I know y'all ain't gonna stay that long to listen to that. Y'all don't care about what happened personally in that place and how rude people were. Y'all probably don't care. And I broke it down. <laughs> but I'm just going to make this. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. My experience working at LSG Sky Chefs as a food preparer. Now, this job has been popping up on, my, on the Winolo app for months. But I never took it because I never liked the description where I'd be working. I didn't want to work in the cold. I didn't want to work in the kitchen. I didn't want to work next to chefs. I didn't want to be cutting raw vegetables. You know. But I went on ahead and accepted it. Because, uh, you know, I need the money. So, I go in there. Well, first of all, they write, you need to wear layers of clothing. What I wore was long johns. Top bottom well bo yeah top and bottom blue jeans sweater and a hoodie i should have wore my hat if you, if you guys got a hat wear a cap so i go in there first thing to tell me put get get a hairnet i got a hairnet uh get a beard guard cuz i got a beard go to you whatever you got to have a beard guard or you can wear your uh mask face mask I had a face mask. I didn't wear a beard guard. I, I wore my face mask. That's a beard guard. So, um, uh, well, what's this? That's in the morning. I'm sorry, y'all. So, you have to wear, you, like you see on the picture, you have to wear a white coat. They're going to give you a white coat. They're going to give you some blue gloves. They also have the you also have the option of wearing cotton gloves, which I think made my hands colder with those cotton gloves. I was better with it with just wearing blue those little plastic gloves by itself. And you have to put the blue glove you have to put the blue gloves over the pl over the uh, cotton gloves. You know, so so I was still cold because that refrigerated area is very cold. So. With, with me wearing all that, I can still feel the cold. And it was getting colder and colder the longer we stayed in there. You know? So we got everything on. We go in there and put me and this girl in the area where we just putting fruit in the bowl. We doing that. We getting us a little, a little you know, we getting a little pace going and... and they will tell you to speed up. They don't have no problem telling you to speed up. They don't give a damn if if it's your first 30 seconds on the job. They want you to be fast. They want you to be steady at a fast pace. They want you to be moving. You can't, they don't, This that, that job is something you can't take your time with. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you taking your time. You know? So they want, they're going, if they see you not moving fast enough, they're going to tell you to speed it up, which I don't like. So we 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 in there putting fruits in the bowl. We ain't doing no cutting no vegetables, which I thought we'd be doing. We not working in the kitchen with the chefs, which I thought we would be doing. We're not doing that. That's good. That's I didn't want to do that. So that's one good thing about it. Um. So they move. Then they move me to another area. So oh, also I put the hoodie over my head because. It was getting colder and colder. And you have to wear a hairnet over the hoodie. So you got to wear a hairnet over your head and over the hoodie. <laughs> Man, you know what I'm saying? So uh, they moved me to another area because they needed me in the kitchen. And they needed help in the other area, not the kitchen, but they needed help in the other refrigerator area. So I go in there and help them out. The lady showed me how to do it. She leave. Somebody else showed me how to do it. Told me I guess I was moving too slow. So. 
I start picking up the pace a little bit. Then the lady come back about an hour and a half later and tell me I need to hurry up. You know, they got stuff need to go out. I'm like, look, I, I, I already know I ain't coming back. You know, all this hurrying up. Shit, I won't be back here. And it's cold too. Y'all getting on my nerves. So, uh, yeah, I, I didn't have it. it. It was cold, but the problem I had was my hands was getting cold. My hands was freezing until I changed gloves. I put on some some different type. I took those cotton gloves off and put on some other type gloves that I had in the car, like rubbery type gloves. And my hands was fine after that, you know, with the plastic. Over, you know, I had to put the plastic blue blue plastic gloves over the rubbery gloves, and I was I was fine. By the end of the shift, I started to get. I th- I think I I started to get in the groove. You know, I was catching on. It's not hard work. Uh, You just, you're putting stuff. I was putting potato salad in a container. You know, closing it up, putting it in the pan, putting it on the pan, putting like 24 containers on the pan, putting them in a pan slot. And then around the end, around the last two hours, we had to put these containers of potato salad on trays along with the cakes on trays along with the napkin and the fork and the cheese on trays and pack the trays inside uh, of a little container a rolling steel wheel container that they rolled out and I guess they packed on trucks and the trucks would drive to the airport and load the carts onto the airplanes which is a neat job because I always wanted to know where airplane food come, comes from and I work, you know, I was proud of myself. Hey, I just learned something new. Hey, I contributed to passengers eating, you know, their trade. You know, I contributed to what the passengers would eat today, you know, or what the passengers would have for lunch today on the airplane, going to whatever destination destination they're going to. But uh, I don't think I'd go back. It wasn't the best enjoyable experience for me. Uh, I was, even, even though I was getting the hang of it, it was a lot of drama going on there. I, I don't want to surround myself around, you know. And the plus, I didn't. I really didn't like the work. I mean, the work. I could get used to the work, but uh, I didn't like the cold environment. That's another thing. My, my nose was starting to run, you know. Even though the layers of clothing I had on, I was still feeling that cold. That cold was cutting through those clothes like it wasn't nothing. You know, even though I got used to it, I still don't like to work in a cold environment. But that's pretty much it for me. Being a food preparer was everything I thought it would be. Less the chefs in the kitchen and the cutting of the vegetables. But, uh, nah, not for me. Good thing about it, they was paying like seventeen twenty, so I made like one thirty two. Oh, the good thing, yeah, I made one thirty two at the end of the day. And the good thing about it, the morning shift was from was from five thirty to two o'clock. So I like that too. I like that. I like getting off early at around two o'clock. That was cool, but it was hot as hell outside. You had to wear those winterized clothing. That wasn't a treat, but anyway. That's been my review of LSG Sky Chefs. Glad to have the experience. Won't be back though. Unless I'm desperate. Peace.